Hello everyone, kumusta pa kayo? I hope that you're all doing good. A question has been asked, are you going to lose ownership of your real property in the Philippines if you renounce your Philippine citizenship? That is, if you get naturalized as a citizen of another country? If you stay and reside in a foreign country for a long period of time, are you bound to lose your property? When we speak of real property, we refer to a piece of land including the permanent improvements or structures that are existing on such land such as a residential house or a commercial building. If you are now a foreign citizen or national by reason of naturalization, are you now disqualified from owning a piece of land in the Philippines? Is that land forfeited in favor of the government? Under the 1987 Philippine Constitution, foreign citizens are not allowed to acquire land in the Philippines except through hereditary succession. It means that foreigners are not allowed to buy land in the Philippines or be a donee or beneficiary of a piece of land by way of a donation. But the Constitution cannot be interpreted as depriving a former Filipino of a real property that he or she owned at the time that he or she lost his or her Philippine citizenship through naturalization. There is no law which authorizes the forfeiture or confiscation of a property on the simple ground that the owner thereof has become a foreigner through naturalization or has lost the Philippine citizenship for any other reason. Under what circumstance may a former Filipino lose ownership of a piece of real property when he or she stays in another country for a long period of time? It may happen when the owner fails to pay the annual real property tax on the land for a number of years for which reason the property may be considered a delinquent property. The law authorizes the local government units, subject to strict procedural requirements, to sell that property in a public auction wherein the proceeds of the sale will be used to apply for the unpaid taxes, interests, and penalties. That is why it is still very important for Filipinos residing abroad in former Filipinos to update their real property tax payments in order to make sure that their property will not be taken away to answer for such liabilities. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you think that this channel can be of help in providing you with useful and relevant information, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you will get notified of our future videos. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo!